It's Fernando Ruiz Art. Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk about something special. We've got here a very specific tool. This is what we call a non-repro blue pencil. Non-repro blue. As you can see, it is basically a blue pencil. Um, and the reason it's called non-repro blue is because traditionally speaking, uh, when people would draw with this pencil, um, the light blue lines that the pencil would make would not be picked up by uh, most Xerox machines, photocopy machines. Uh, and even still, uh, even with all the, the computer technology today, uh, non-repro blue pencils can really be very light. And if you're scanning in black and white, um, chances are this won't be, you know, it'll be either very light or it won't be picked up at all. Um, so because of that, uh, the non-repro blue pencil has become a, a real, um, it's become a good tool to use for your underdrawing. Now, we've, we've discussed in the past what the underdrawing is, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing a little bit of underdrawing here uh, with the non-repro blue pencil. So the underdrawing, of course, is the, the sketchy, and, and I really hope my camera is going to pick this up. Again, the non-repro blue is very light. I may, I may push the blueness a little bit more just so that it does show up on camera. So I may be using this a little more heavily than I normally would. Um, but I'm drawing those constru the, the construction lines, the basic shapes, all of that, the, that preliminary structural stuff before you get to the real, the, the real finished line, the real finished drawing. Um, now how far you want to go with this stage, that, that is really up to you. Uh, and it really depends on your own level of comfort. So, um, you know, if, if you are not very certain of your drawing, uh, you may want to do a little bit more at this stage. You may want to, you know, do a little bit more work at this stage uh, because these lines are light. So uh, it represents a little bit less of a commitment because these lines are so light. Um, or some people who are a bit more uh, sure of their of their own lines, um, they may be they may be able to get away with uh, very little in terms of uh, of an underdrawing. Um, so they, they this can vary from artist to artist, uh, and it's it's totally a matter of personal preference, comfort, and the results that you get. Now, one thing I want to uh, point out here is most, and, and these non-repro blue pencils, um, if you go to a, an art store, like the Great Cubert School Art Store, which I recommend very much in, in Dover, New Jersey, and they are available online if you ever wanna order something. Um, but if you go to an art store and you check out their, their non-repro blue pencils, or you know, sometimes just called blue pencils, you'll notice that th there's a big range of blue. Um, they're not all as light as I'm, do as I'm using here. Some are darker. Um, uh, some are, you know, really, really dark. There's also uh, a, some people will do this with a uh, red pencil. Again, it, it really just boils down to personal preference. As always, I always recommend that people just try everything and see uh, see what they like best. And again, I'm 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 going really dark and very tight with my lines here, uh, just so that you can really see it better. Um, again, if uh, if the you know the, this is all underdrawing, so nobody sees these lines technically. Um, you could even plan out things like shadows a little bit. And of course, this is all intended to be below your final dark lines. 
Now, one thing I want to point out, which I was about to say before, but as always, I sidetrack myself. Um, these pencils have a very waxy consistent consistency to them. Um, so what that means is they're, they're going to wear away uh, very much as you're working with them, especially if you're doing what I'm doing now, which is kind of laying in these, these dark areas, these big areas of, of shadow. Um, so they're going to wear away a lot. Uh, be ready for that. Me, what I like to do, I like to keep an electric uh, pencil sharpener handy. Um, the, the little, you know, non-powered, hand-turned uh, pencil sharpeners just, you know, the, that, that gets old fast. So I just like my electric sharpener, which I have over here off camera, and I just stick in the pencil and let it, let it sharpen the point again. Now, the other issue with the, um, the, uh, the, the, the waxiness of this uh, pencil is that it can give you trouble when it comes time to ink. Now, now if you ink digitally, well, that won't be a problem. But if you're inking directly on the original, uh, the, the waxiness of the pencil will repel the, the, the Black India ink. So it's kind of like you're inking on top of crayon, which, which can be tough. So um, uh, getting back to Batman here for a second, I'm pretty happy where he's at. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my blue pencil aside and I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with one of my plain old, one of these paper mate sharp writer pencils. Uh, I use these disposable pencils and they have a pretty soft lead in them. Um, so I use them a lot for very quick drawing. So now I'm just going to go over the lines that I put down. And I could go nice and crisp with these lines that I'm putting down now because all the sketchiness you know, all the looseness, I did that with the non-repro blue pencil. Now, you may say, you might think uh, that I'm doing this video as kind of, uh, you know, advocating for the for the non-repro blue pencil. And, and I'm not really. I'm, I'm just kind of introducing you, introducing this process to you, to those of you who um, you may have heard of people using blue pencil. You may have seen it. Uh, but you weren't quite sure why people did it. So it's, you know, I'm, I'm just putting it out there for you guys to kind of be aware of why and how this is done uh, and that it is done. Um, but I, I'm not saying this is, this is the way it should be done. Now, in my own experience, when I was uh, a student at the Kubert School many, many years ago now, uh, when I was a student, I did uh, start to use the blue, the non-repro blue pencil. So what I would do was I would draw my pages in non-repro blue, and then kind of go over them with my um, with my regular, you know, black lead pencil. Um, and that just let me, you know, as I've been saying, let me do all my construction lines and let me figure things out very lightly. Uh, and then I could go in just like I'm, I'm doing now with Batman and kind of define things and make things tighter. Um, now, I, I kept using the non-repro blue pencil right up to when I started working for Archie. Uh, and as I've said before, if anybody you know knows my story, you, you've heard me talk about this. I, I started working for Archie right as soon as I graduated from the Kubert School. Uh, Archie Comics, uh, the late, great Victor Gorelick, he discovered me during a portfolio review at the school uh, and hired me. He hired me right away. So, um, you know, I, I was very fortunate. Uh, and when I first started, when I first, on my first jobs, I was using the blue pencil. And uh, after a few, after a using that for a little while, 
uh, Victor came to me and he said, um, knock it off with the blue pencil. Uh, because the blue pencil was giving the inker problems. Uh, as I said, the, it's, it's tough to ink directly on top of these blue lines. And even now, as I'm using my, uh, my, my regular pencil, I, you know, I feel a slickness from all the blue that I, that I put down. Um, so e even just using a regular pencil, it can give you some problems. Um, but as, as I've said, you know, it's, it all, it all boils down to personal preference, personal comfort, the results you get. So I did stop using the blue pencil. Uh, and now what I do is I just do everything with my regular pencil. Uh, you know, and, and most of my, most of my real intricate, uh, pencil drawing is done with this. And this is a 0. 0.5, uh, 0. 0.5 millimeter, uh, mechanical pencil, uh, with a, an HB lead inside of it. Um, and that's really, I think 99.9% .9 of my drawing is done with that. Yeah, sometimes I go to this paper, uh, this this paper mate sharp writer, uh, just for some quick drawing like I'm doing here now. Um, but most of my pages, most of my uh, professional work is done with my 0. Uh, 0.5 millimeter. Um, and one thing I noticed when I stopped using the blue line, the the non repro blue pencil, I got a whole lot faster. Uh, because what I was really doing was I was drawing every page, every every panel, I was drawing it twice. Without the blue line, without that stage of the of the non repro blue pencil, I really I really picked up my pace. I really kind of consolidated my process. So uh, I, I stopped using it, and I I really you know I only use it. I only do stuff with it um, for demos like I'm doing here. So Batman is just about done here. Um, now one thing, you know, since I'm erasing a little bit here, uh, it comes to mind. Um, you know, the, the non-repro blue pencil doesn't erase well, okay? Uh, which is another issue inkers have with it, especially when an artist really cakes it on. Uh, an inker wants to try and lift it up so that he could ink a little more easily, um, but they'll find that, you know, it doesn't come up easily. It doesn't erase very quickly, uh, very easily. So, so that's yet another drawback to it. So there's pluses and minuses to it. And as always, I urge everybody, you know, give it a shot. You may end up liking it. You may end up hating it and never using it again. But, um, you know, it's up to you. It's your process. So give it a go. Give it a shot. Experiment with it. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, comment in the comments below. Share your thoughts. Share your experiences with the non-repro blue. Yay or nay. So that's it. What do you think of Batman here? Did he, uh, did he work out well? Um brush away some some of those fuzzies um, now if I scan the Batman here uh, if I scan him as a black and white line image um, you really wouldn't see the uh, you you wouldn't see any of these uh, blue pencil lines that you might be seeing right now um, but if I did scan him in in full color yeah the the blue pencil lines would be there and, and sometimes it that, that gives you kind of a nice, very sketchy, um, artsy kind of look. Um, so again, there's pluses and minuses to this, and it really all boils down to um, personal preferences. So that's it. Once again, let me know your thoughts, your questions, your uh, observations, your own experiences with the non-repro blue pencil. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, Please click like, please share, um, comments, comments always help the uh, videos and the algorithms. Um, and if, of course, as always, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. 
Okay, so that's it, everybody. Practice with your blue pencil, and as always, keep drawing, everybody. Keep drawing. Bye-bye, everybody.